Computer Central. No. That's not what we're here to talk about today. We're actually here to talk about... Countertop. Nope. Refrigerator. Nope. A little tiny cutting board. Nope. Utensils. Nope. How about cabinet? Well, not the cabinet, actually. It's what's inside the cabinet. There you go. It's a little tiny cube microwave. It's a 750 watt microwave. Meaning when I'm plugged into uh, exterior power outlet, it's not sucking uh, maximum amounts of uh, amperage and drawing a lot of current, creating all the wiring from where I'm plugging in all the way to my trailer to actually get warm and heat up. Um, this is the one thing you're concerned about is the amount of amperage you're using and seeing as how I made this basically a 15 amp trailer I needed to get a small microwave because I wanted to be able to plug into any plug-in I could find and seeing as how my lighting in my little house only uses uh, I think it's 20 watts maximum and the amperage is just minimal because they're all LEDs uh, my refrigerator right down here they're known for only using like 1.3, 1.5 amps at the most while they're running. But when they're not running, they're not using anything. Uh, so I said, you know what, I'm going to have to get, if I want a microwave, I can have one. I'm just going to have to make sure it's a small one and one that's somewhat efficient. So I haven't had any problems using it and heating anything up. Uh, anything I water for making tea, frozen dinners. You name it, it's it's microwave like any other microwave. It used, uses a little bit less power. Might take a little bit longer to cook, but not much. And I like the fact that it's not just massively abusing the the power line that's coming from wherever I'm plugged in all the way to my trailer. So that's the point. That's what we were here to see. Anyway, that's cool. Thanks.